Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. My name is African Joe, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so lovely to have you here. If you're one of my old subscribers, what's good? I hope you're well and I hope you're keeping good. So, as you can tell from the title today, we are doing another Evil class. So, this is our third one coming back. Yes. So, I hope you guys have been watching the first two videos and knowing how to keep up with time, how to reckon with time, and how to say words associated with time. So today, today, let's get into today's lesson. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about greetings, an accent after someone's welfare. So what do we say and how do we ask after someone's welfare? Let's get on okay, to that. So the first word we're going to be using for today is kedu. I know we've done this in my other video, but remember, we are starting all over again. We're giving structure so that the lessons, you know, can flow easily. So, the first word is kedu. Repeat after me. Kedu. Come on, silly. Kedu. What does kedu mean? It means, how are you? So, if you want to ask someone, how are you? You say, kedu. Say it with me one more time. Kedu. That's right, that's how you ask someone, how are you? Kedu. Ijoma kedu. Ada kedu. That means ada, how are you? Or ijoma, how are you? So let's get on to our next word. Naturally, if you ask someone kedu, they have to reply you, it is well. Hopefully, it is well. <laughs> we're staying positive on this channel, so we're going to reply, it is well. How do we say it is well in Igbo? O dema. Come on, let's say a few times. O de ma. Let's say a few more times, guys. O de ma. Kedu. O de ma. That's how you reply. So that you, that's how you ask question. Kedu. How do you reply to kedu? O de ma. Come on, say it with me one more time. O de ma. There you go. You can ask someone a question, and if they ask you a question, you can now reply. Let's go on to our next word. Also, if you want to ask someone, how is your family? How is your family? How would you say that in Igbo? In Igbo, it is translated to Kedo Maka Ndi Begi. Repeat after me. Kedo Maka Ndi Begi. Slowly one more time. Kedo Maka Ndi Begi. Let's say one more time slowly. Kedu Maka Ndi Begi. You're doing very well. Let's say it one more time slowly. Kedu Maka Ndi Begi. Let's say a little bit faster. Kedu Maka Ndi Begi. A little bit faster. Kedu Maka Ndi Begi. Remember, you can pause this video and repeat this verse to yourself till you get on the pace of how I'm saying it very fast. And yeah, that's how you ask someone, How is your family? Kedu Maka Ndi Begi. Let's go on to the next word. So, if you ask someone, how is your family? They will reply, everyone is fine, usually. So how do we say, everyone is fine in Igbo? Let's go on to that. Ha de cha ma. Slowly. Ha de cha ma. Slowly, one more time, guys. Ha de cha ma. Oh, okay, I was thinking, what's that noise? Oh, it's my laptop, sorry. Ha de cha Ma. So that's how you say everyone is fine. <laughs> that's how you say everyone is fine in Igbo. Ha de cha ma. Alright, let's go on to the next okay, word, guys. So another way of asking after someone's health is or someone's welfare is how is health or how is your health? So you either say aho or dequa. Aho or dequa. Aho or de kwa. That's A H U. Aho or de kwa. Or Aro or de kwa. Repeat after me. Aro or de kwa. That's A R U. Aro or Aho. So depending on what dialect you have, I usually say Aho de kwa. So the A H U is what's more natural to me. But people say Aro. So it depends on what you want to say. So let's say it one more time with the Aho or de kwa. Aho. Or de kwa. 
Repeat after me slowly. Aho o de kwa. Slowly one more time, guys. Aho o de kwa. O aro o de kwa. Aro o de kwa. So let's say it faster. Aho o de kwa. Aho o de kwa. Aro o de kwa. So it depends on how if which one is easier to use. So you you say both of them. Whichever one comes more natural to you, you say that. That's that was how I speak my English. I can't I can't kill myself. I can't kill myself, my I can't do that. Can't do it. So <laughs> so how do you ask someone how is your health? Aru or de quoi? Aru or de quoi? So there you go. Let's go on to the next phase, guys. Another way of asking after someone's welfare is is everything okay or if you see someone I like everything okay if they don't look too well so how do we say is everything okay in Igbo how do we say that so we say that by accent udo or de kwa repeat after me udo or de kwa repeat after me again udo or de kwa we are still saying it very slowly udo or de kwa slowly again udo or de kwa. So let's say that very fast and join everything to get together. Udo de kwa. Udo de kwa. Is everything okay? Udo or de kwa. Slowly. Udo or de kwa. Faster. Udo de kwa. Udo de kwa. So that's how you say is everything okay? Or is that's how you ask is everything okay? If someone doesn't look too well or if you just them like is everything okay? Udo de kwa. Yeah, so let's go on to the next phase, guys. So usually, by the grace of God, if you ask someone, is everything okay? Usually, they say no complaint or there is no problem or everything is okay. So how do we say, how do we reply back when we ask that question? You say, nsobu adoro. There's something wrong. <laughs> okay, so we say, nsobu adoro. Repeat after me. Nsobu adoro. Repeat after me slowly. You're doing so well, guys. Come on. N sobu adero. Slowly. N sobu adero. Slowly, guys. N sobu adero. Slowly. N sobu adero. How do we say that faster? N sobu adero. Everything okay? No problem. No complaint. N sobu adero. That means there's no problem. Everything is fine. That's what it means. N sobu adero. Mm so bu adero. Mm so badero. Mm so badero. That's how you say it. Faster, slowly. Mm so bu adero. Let's go on to the next word, guys. The next word or the next phrase is how is work? How do you ask someone how is work? Koti se kuya nasu suiko. How is work? Let's say that in Ibe. Oro kwanu. Oro kwanu. That's this is literally almost the simplest way of asking it. Oro kwanu or kedo ka oro de kedo ka oro de you can tell me kedo ka oro de or kedo ma koro how is work but the simplest way to say is is oro kwanu that means how is work so usually when you're flowing from conversations, obviously I don't know if you meet people, how is work? You don't do that. So it's kind of in between conversations that you ask that question. So most people use it as oro kwanu. That means how is work? Oro kwanu. Repeat after me slowly. Oro kwanu. Say it faster. Oro kwanu. That means how is work. So how do you reply to someone if they ask you how is work? Let's go on to If that. someone asks you how is work, oro, oro kwanu or kedomakor. Then you, how do you reply in Igbo? Koti se kwa na susibo. So in Igbo, you reply o de ofuma slowly. O de ofuma slowly, guys. O de ofuma. Okay, come on, guys, come on slowly. O de ofuma slowly. O de ofuma. So let's say that a little bit faster. Audio fuma. That means it is well. Audio fuma. It is well. So that's how you reply how this work in Igbo. Let's go on to the last word for this lesson. Okay, so our last phrase for today is save Johnny. So how do we say save Johnny in Igbo? Nasusibo. How do we say that? Ijoma. Slowly. Ijoma. 
explain ej oma ej oma save journey in Igbo. ej oma so if someone around you is traveling and you want to tell them save journey you can say mommy joma or adai joma so that means ada save journey so that's how you say save journey in Igbo. ej oma so make sure you guys are using these words in your everyday living that's how you get used to speaking Igbo, guys so literally go throughout this whole week and keep saying these words to people around you your friends that speak Igbo, or someone else that actually understands Igbo. so it allows you guys to conversate better so i feel like the next video might be a quiz it might be a quiz guys because we've had the first three lesson and then we're going to do a quiz and then we're going to go into another segment so that's it all right so i hope you guys actually enjoyed this video make sure you share it to your family members your friends that don't really know how to speak Igbo, the ones that know how to speak Igbo, just spread this video to everyone around you because we're trying to keep the Igbo language alive and we must keep the Igbo language alive. I don't really care what you guys say, we must keep it alive. You hear me? You see me? So make sure you're learning these words. If you want private lessons, make sure you email me. The email is going to be below and we can get into one-on-one -on -one lessons. So that either means video call on Zoom or if you're on whatsapp you can do whatsapp call because i have a business line i can use for whatsapp calls so we can do that so i will give you guys the prices if you email me and then we can get on to arranging one-on-one -on -one classes depending on your schedule and my schedule and then finding a way to meet and figuring that out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video honestly and comment below how these lessons are going if you're enjoying it and how you find this video thank you guys so much and make sure you click that subscription button and that notification bell so that you are notified every single time i post thank you see you guys next time bye guys